continues with the new number one hit from the Bratz Rock Angels. They're rocking hot and rocking your world. Hey guys, it's our song. They're playing our song. We're number one. Scotchin', slimmin', rockin'. Hey Roxy, we're number one. Can you believe it? Wondering how the girls with a passion for fashion became rock stars? Well, it's an awesome story that started while we were hanging at the mall. So that I'm way outgoing, a great friend to all my gal pals, and I'm gonna meet a handsome prince who will carry me off on his horse. Right, Chloe, like you touch a horse. I would if there was a prince on it. It also says you're a major drama queen. Uh, that is so untrue. <gasps> I think I just had an out of the blue arterial explosion. Well, mine says I'm strong, sensitive, and a little secretive. And there's a super scorching guy in my future who's so perfect for yours truly. Ooh. Check this out. Music is my thing, and my style is off the hook. I can't commit to any one guy. When you're this gorgeous, why should you? And I'm... Yeah, right. Like, they know what they're talking about. This magazine bites. A control freak? <laughs> wow, Sasha. That's practically psychic. I got it! I got it! The latest crash CD? Better, I got the student internship. The one at Your Thing magazine? You are looking at the new assistant to Miss Verdine Maxwell, editor-in-chief. Rockin'! Wow, Jade, you get to go to all the runway shows? And watch supermodel meltdowns? And get free passes to all the happening concerts? I sure hope so. Can you believe it? It's my total biggest dream, and it's coming true. Did you see what she was wearing? 911, so mean girl alert. Those two things are called Kirsty and Casey. But everyone at Styles High calls them the Tweedles, because they're twins and seriously evil. Casey's bandage is the remains of her third nose job. Flying objects are just drawn to it. Ow! 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 Well, look who's here. The fashion freaks. Yeah. Ugh. 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 Whatever. Whatever. Yo, Chloe, I spy your Prince Charming. See the guy on the right? That's Cameron. He's kind of shy. You know, the strong, silent type we met in second grade. He's way cute and everything, but I still can't figure him out. Check this out. Uh. Dylan, watch out! Don't tell me not to freak, you, you, skater boy! Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Rewind? Go for it! 
<laughs> Sweet! Can I try? Are you sure you can handle it? <laughs> awesome moves, Chloe. Thanks, Cameron. I've got a lot of cool moves. I mean, on the skateboard, you know, ollies and uh, donkey kicks, 720s and uh, stuff. Yeah. Hey, you think you could teach me a 720 sometime? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Cool. Whatever. Hey, guys, did you hear? Jade's going to be working at Your Thing magazine for the whole summer. That's tight. Awesome! Hey, what's your thing? Do you know you are talking to the founder, president, editor-in-chief, queen of fashion? You ridiculous, incompetent moron. I want a dozen pair of those peony pink pumps here tomorrow, size 11, and don't give me any more of your lame excuses that you don't have my size. Mother of pink! And what are you supposed to be? I'm Jade, your new student intern. I just want to tell you I am so psyched to be working here with you and your thing. I've got a ton of ideas for the magazine. Oh, really? Do share. I was thinking that maybe we could do a column on street trends, see what's taking off at clubs, do a quiz fest. Stop! <laughs> just so we understand each other, I come up with the ideas. Your thing is my magazine. You work for me, and your title is nothing. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to... Ah, oh, my other interns. Two lovely girls. Newsflash. This day is not going well. Mm, pink. My favorite color. Here's your first assignment. And this is what I want you girls to do. Now get busy. Royal and I have some shoe shopping to do, don't we, my little bitty baby boy? Oh, mommy loves her little baby so much. Mm. Nito, it's a fashion assignment. I need you guys to model for me. Well, okay. Oh, Kirstie, it's beautiful. Yeah, give me a supermodel smile. Oh, gorgeous. Out of the cab. Oh, that was great. Okay, work it. Good. Okay, okay. Jade's turn. Wait a sec. Oh, perfection. Woo! I am just exhausted from all that work. Wow, this is a lot for one person. Maybe you guys could help me out? Sorry, N-O-P. N-O-P? Not our problem. Working overtime. You got a lot of things that you gotta do. Working day and night and night. Be like you never stop. Working overtime. All you really need is a little more time to get it right. Oh. Working overtime. Oh. That's when it feels like just too much. When it comes to time, there can never Dean, everything about her is like so plastic. Totally. She reminds me of that fashion doll that used to hit me with when we were three. Okay, girls, show me the fashion do's and don'ts assignment. Do's? Don'ts. <gasps> Perfection! <laughs> Maybe they're right. I'm nothing but one big fashion don't. Jade, how's it going? Totally terrible, Angel. Bertine is so mean. She hates me, and guess who I have to work with? The Tweevils. Wow, that's really awful, but try to hang in there. This is your dream, remember? Yeah, you're right. This is my dream. 
You're such a good friend, Angel. Thanks. No problem, Cool Cat. I'll check in with you later, okay? Oh, Birdina is so meany weeny. And Kirsty and Casey are so nasty wasty. <laughs> <laughs> There you are. Now, where's my mail? It's right here. You have some really rockin' invitations. Look how many. There's one from that... Junk, junk, junk. More junk. Mother of pink. Don't you know junk mail when you see it? I'm wearing my new pumps today, so get these old ones polished. And where's my lunch already? Hello? What? What do you mean, sales of your thing have dropped? Well, that's impossible! What? Um, do you guys know what Bertine likes for lunch? Sure, we'll phone in the order. But it's your turn to pick it up from the deli. Okay, I guess these will have to wait till later. trying to do kill me make me fat i only eat greens but I... spare me your excuses you are fired hear me fired and not only will you never ever work at this magazine again you will never ever work at any magazine am i making myself quite clear you are fired for life in fact even your children and your grandchildren are fired fired my life is so over. <laughs> it's so unfair. All my hopes and dreams destroyed in three hours. Don't worry, Cool Cat. Everything will work out. You have way too much talent not to make it. Jade, you're a fashion superhero. Berdine's the one who's majorly clueless, not you. You guys really think so? Totally. totally. Now, come on, people. It's time for some serious cheer up. Shopping! Girly, ain't nothing stopping us. Yeah, yeah. It's a girly, just having a little fun. It's a girly, ain't nothing stopping us. for really being there for me. You're the best. No prob. Anytime. That's what best friends are for. Girlfriend 411. Major ass is ahead. Well, well, if it isn't Jade and her little band of fashion faux pas. Faux pas? Parlez-vous Francais? <gasps> Perfectamente. So, Jade, what are you gonna do now that your career in fashion is, like, so over? Her career isn't so over. It's just beginning. Oh, really? As a fast food delivery girl? <laughs> Ow! My nose! Oh! Cool Cat, you wouldn't have learned a thing at this lame old magazine. You're right. It's so yesterday. You know, we should really have our own magazine. Pretty Princess? That's a scorching idea. It is? Totally. I could write an advice column. Dear Chloe, fashion emergency. And I can write about trends. Where to hang, where to work it, and where to learn the latest poses. And I can be the editor. Funny, boo. I mean, the music editor. I'd review what's down and slamming and gets everybody jamming. And I'd be the most cutting edge lifestyle editor. Wait a sec. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? 
I am so thinking what you're thinking. You're kidding, right? No way, kidding. Let's let's start our own team magazine. <laughs> Wait, reality check. What about an office? No way we can afford one. I'll have to babysit every night, even on weekends. And chill, Angel. Let me work it. Here we are! Love it! Feel it! Hate it! Huh? It's Berdine's building. If she sees me, I'm beyond dead. Chill, we got your back. glad to be out of there. What's with the crown thing? Burdine likes to think of herself as the reigning queen of fashion. More like the queen of mean. Miss Queen Burdine is going down. Okay, ah! guys. This is it. Get ready to feast your eyes on the most totally slamming loft in all downtown. You can't be serious. Okay, so the place needs a little makeover. Okay, a serious makeover. <sighs> what are we going to do? This place is so beyond help. Our hopes, our dreams, everything's shattered. Yo, Drama Mama, snap out of it. We survived seventh grade. We can survive this. Okay, a little primo and paint. Relocate a few shells. Dramatize the area over here. Set up a computer bank. And girlfriends, we're happening. Let's hit it! Magazine's half as good as your office, it's gonna be great. And hey, if you need me to attend any parties with supermodels, my cell's on 24 7. Goodbye, Goodbye Dylan. Dylan. Ew! What an interesting artifact. They're probably circa 1988. This has got to be Dylan's totally twisted idea of a joke. Actually, they're Burdine's totally twisted idea of fashion. She gave them to me to get polished, and I forgot to give them back. At least we'll never show anything that vomititious in our magazine. You losers are starting a magazine? <gasps> What's it about? How to be a loser? No, it's nothing you guys would be interested in. It's a fashion magazine. Fashion? With the way you spazzes dress? What are you gonna call it? Teen Hurl? <laughs> yeah. Just wait till Berdine finds out you guys are trying to rip off your thing. Get real. Our thing won't be anything like your thing. Well, Jade, sorry we won't be around to make you get fired in less than a day, but I'm sure you'll mess things up all by yourself. Yeah, and then you'll all have to fire each other. 
<laughs> Good one, Casey! Excuse us, but we have work to do. And you have dry cleaning to do. Excuse me, the wet paint? <sighs> you brats! You totally set me up! Come on, Casey, let's get out of here before they do something to me! Ow! My nose! I never want to see those girls again. <laughs> then avoid the bathroom between 1.30 and 2. That's their disperdine fest. That's very interesting. Oh, pretty princess, what are you thinking? That's good. Look at my hair. I just got a color. Mm. Quit! You're like so grossing me out. I think I have a zit under here. Hot zit! My nose job isn't as bad as Bertine's, is it? Are you kidding? Hers is all pointy and bony, like an icky bird beak. Oh, do you think Birdface has had other work done? Totally. I bet she's had lipo and a facelift and her lips silicone. Ugh, that's why they look like big, fat, rotting sausages. How old do you think she is? She is so ancient, at least 30. It was her! I'd know those classic pink pumps anywhere. I bet she heard everything. What are we gonna do? <gasps> Cry. <laughs> you totally even the score. Mission accomplished. Well, we are like so sorry. We didn't mean any of those things that we said. We totally think that your lips look like big fat rotting sausages. <laughs> or that you have a pointy, bony, icky bird beak nose. And that you're 30. 30? <laughs> you think I'm 30? My nose. Please don't hurt my nose. <laughs> Wrong shoes. Uh oh. Whoops. Ideas on what to call our fab new magazine? How about Sasha? You guys, I was only playing with you. Sort of. We need something styling. With attitude. That's us! First article completed. Mean girls busted. Don't get mad, get even. Uh, you brats! That's it! Brats! Cool Cat, are you crazy? That's what Verdine and the Tweevils call us. So, we make it our own. Give it some attitude. But maybe a little too much attitude? I got it. Hold on. our first major scoop. Say no more. I just happen to have saved all those invites for Dean made me toss. You are not gonna believe this. Super stylin' fashion reporter Jade scoops the biggest scoop of all scoops ever. Invitations to the exclusive opening of Pins, the most hap new punk rock club, and to the Save the Universe benefit concert. No way! Get out! Off the hook! Every rock star in the world is gonna be there. All expense paid, accommodations included, on a private jet and a five-star luxury hotel suite in London! <laughs> <laughs> we rock! We're hot! We're the girls with a passion for fashion! And we're going to London! happening our very own magazine london's gonna rock you better believe it this trip is going to be so awesome cameron maybe we can see big ben together sure if we have time excuse me but i do believe you're in my seat oops <laughs> sorry my mistake 
Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Nigel Forrester, the ninth Duke of Lessex. Hotty alert. My horoscope did say a handsome prince would carry me away on a horse, but a cute duke on a private jet works for me. And I'm Chloe, but my friends call me Angel. Nice to meet you. Huh. Relax, dude. It's only a 10-hour flight. Thanks, Dill, man. That makes me feel a whole lot better. Kins is supposed to be the most super styling punk club ever. And the benefit concert is gonna be scorching. Every major rock star will be there. Poor Berdeen. She's so clueless. She has no idea she threw out the party invitations of the year. You ugly furball! Ugh, you idiot interns. How dare you let me let Jade throw out the invitations of the year? But, but we weren't even in the office when it happened. Yeah! Spare me your lame excuses. Your thing will not be outscooped by that amateur brat's magazine, or I'll have you two hung upside down by your shoe straps. <laughs> Now, how come my suitcases aren't packed already? Hurry up, chop, chop. Quit it, you little rat! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please fasten your seatbelts. We're about to begin our descent into London Heathrow International Airport. England, here we come. Look, I can see Big Ben. If I may be so bold, it would be an honor to show you Big Ben tomorrow. Really? <laughs> Check it. Love it. Man, this lobby is off the hook. Totally. Here it is. Welcome to the Q Hotel Super Storling Supremo Suite. Wow, this place is slamming. Check this out. Uh, can you believe this place? Feel it. I feel like a movie star. Wow, check out the view. Forget the view. Let's scoop this Fallon City. Yes! Yes! London, here we come! and I will scope out the 10 best places to find the cutest guys. Cameron and Dylan are going to cover sports and entertainment. And Jade and I will scoop the London fashion scene. I've already mapped out all the super styling places I want to go today. Sasha, you mean where we want to go? Hey, Carnaby Street's not on here. Chill, cool cat. We'll get to it. Fine. Come on, pretty princess. Let's hit the London Eye. It's supposed to be London's hottest hangout. I am so there. That must be my mother. Again. Mom, I am not wearing those rubber boots you snuck in my suitcase. Nigel, hi. Oh my gosh, it's him. Talk, girl. Of course I remember you. Right now? Sure, I'm not doing anything. See you in 10. Oh no, I've got a date with Nigel and only five minutes to accessorize. 
Um, Angel, the London Eye. We'll check it out in the morning, okay? Sure. Thanks, Yaz. You rock. Oh, I can't believe it! I've got a nosebleed! Oh. <laughs> Cork it! <laughs> Mother of Pink, would you please control your fat mutt? Excuse me, but your pathetic hairy rat is attacking my Aussie. Stop it, Tubbo! Come on, Ozzy. Let's leave the nasty woman and her mongrel alone. <laughs> sit. Royal, sit. <laughs> Mother of Pink! <laughs> Thank you for the corsage, Nigel. It's beautiful. Not nearly as beautiful as you, my pretty princess. You know, I, I don't believe I've ever felt this way about a girl before. <laughs> Nigel, we just met. What, you don't believe in love at first sight? Ah, a waltz. Shall we dance? Check. Have I really found my Prince Charming? Man, how do the Brits channel surf with only five TV channels? Chloe, how is your date with Prince Charming? Prince Charming? Tell us everything. Spill it. It was amazing. We went to a really romantic restaurant, had a perfect dinner, and then we waltzed. What's a waltz? Dude, it's what old people do. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. We're still on for the eye tomorrow morning, right? <gasps> oh, maybe later in the day, Nigel invited me to his family's castle. And well, when he called me his pretty princess, I just couldn't say no. Pretty princess? That's my nickname. Nigel, your place is so awesome. Yes, it has its charms. Come now, darling, keep your eye on the ball. Yes! <laughs> oh, just a sec. Oh, hi, Yasmin. What's up? What's up? It's almost four o'clock. You were supposed to meet me here at three to go check out the London Eye. Oh, yes. I am so sorry. I completely spaced. Um, I can probably make it in an hour or two. Forget it. I'll do the story all by myself. Later. Hi, cutie. Where'd you come from? Are you lost? Oh, your name's Ozzy. You're a sweetie, aren't you, Ozzy? I know just how you feel. I've lost my best friend, too. Come on, sweetie. Let's go before we get soaked. Hey, Georgie girl. I've got to do a movie review for the hot new Bratz magazine. Want to come? Okay. What would you like to see? What about Zombie Crusher 2? Man, Zombie Crusher 1 was so tight! That part where the head exploded was like just... Oh, man! It was just gross! I am Verdine Maxwell, the founder, president, editor-in-chief of your thing magazine and the reigning queen of fashion, and I demand my royal suite. No! Mother of Pink, you call this a room? Huh, for a dog, maybe. Boo, give me some candy. 
camera time. Uh-oh. No more memory. But I haven't even taken one shot. You will. Now let's jam. I plan the whole day and I don't want to miss our magazine deadline. You plan the whole day without consulting me? Again? Jade, will you chill already? I know what I'm doing. <sighs> right. For a bird's eye view of London's coolest landmarks, hitch a ride on the world's largest observation wheel. Guys, I'm so glad you're here. Chloe's totally bailed on me. I found the cutest little... Dog? Can you believe those fashion challenge brats named a magazine after themselves? Yeah, they're like so totally self-absorbed. Those brazen brats will pay for this. All of this! Stealing our room, daring to start a rival fashion magazine, having the audacity to try to outscoop us! Pay attention to me when I'm ranting. I will get those girls and put their rotten little magazine out of business even if it kills you. They cannot and will not succeed. Do you understand? <laughs> and what is that horrible smell of smoke? Oh, mother of pink! I'm going to order a pot of tea. Anyone care to join me? Chloe, you hate tea, and what's with your voice? Actually, I've grown quite fond of... One pot of tea, please. As I was saying, croquet requires intense concentration. Isn't that true, pretty princess? I don't know. I've never played. Huh? Nigel, Yasmin's nickname is also pretty princess. Really? I'd say you're more of a... Uh, peaches. Peaches? I'll see you tomorrow, pretty princess. Cheerio, Peaches. Cheerio. <laughs> see you tomorrow, Nigel. Guys, isn't he awesome? Totally awesome. Later. Yo, Cool Cat, if you got something to say to me, say it. Fine. You are the biggest, bossiest control freak I've ever met. You're even worse than Bertine. Come on, guys, chill. Please, like, you know what's going on? You haven't even been around. No kidding. Yasmin's had to cover every hot spot by herself. Yasmin doesn't mind. Yes, I do. I mean, next thing you know, you'll be telling us you can't make the opening of pins. <gasps> Oh, I totally spaced. Nigel's brother is giving a dinner party tomorrow and I promised I'd go. Chloe, one of the main reasons we came to London was to get that scoop for our new magazine. Have you forgotten we're starting our own magazine? 911 communication breakdown. How can I expect even my best friends to understand? No one knows the pain, the agony I'm going through. Torn between my very first Prince Charming, I mean Duke Charming, and my three best friends forever. What's a teenage drama queen to do? Bad news, guys. Burdine and the Tweevils are here. What's going on? Girl stuff. Hi. You remember Sasha? Hey. Whatever. My friends are covering the opening of this happening new punk rock club for our magazine. We could go there after the dinner party. We'll discuss it later. Now hurry up and get dressed. We don't want to be late. Chop chop. Um, I am dressed. Dressed? Darling, you can't be serious. Surely you must have something that's a little more elegant and understated. 
You know, like what those two lovely girls eavesdropping outside your door are wearing. What? Ow! My nose! Oh, hi. We were just passing by. When you became glued to our door? It's really him! Nigel Forrester! Duke of Lessons! Get lost! I saw him first! Correction, I'm Nigel Forrester, the ninth Duke of Lessex. I like so like your tie. And I like so love your taste. <laughs> Break it up, sisters. Mutual admiration time is over. Bye. Forgive me, but I hardly think such rude behavior was called for. Especially since those girls were rather attractive. Nigel? Uh, but not as attractive as you, my pretty princess. Now, tally on, we really must be going. Ew! Hey, Cool Cat, I've been working on a photo layout and I need your opinion. Our layout? Funny Boo, you used all my pictures. <laughs> Yours were way better. You know, you have a scorching sense of fashion. Thanks. Look, I'm sorry about everything. You know how I can get. That's okay, Sasha. Apology accepted. Best friends again? Forever. Forever. Did I miss something? Come on, we gotta look totally punkalicious for the opening of pins. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Shopping! Shopping! In case you've forgotten, there's a party inside. I was just taking five. You know, the pins opening starts at... Oh, really, Chloe? I wouldn't be caught dead at some tacky punk rock club. I mean, it's so low class. I don't think so. Punk clubs rule. Besides, I'm just hanging out with my friends. Those misfits. Oh, come now, pretty princess. They're so uncouth. They are so not uncouth. You just don't get them, you royal jerk. And you, pretty princess, are way out of line. Stop calling me pretty princess. My friends call me Angel. Dookie, there you are. This balcony is, like, so beautiful. Not nearly as beautiful as you, my pretty princess. You know, I, I don't believe I've ever felt this way about a girl before. Dookie, we've just met. You don't believe in love at first sight? Look, I can see Big Ben! <laughs> Cheerio! Dylan, you gotta take pictures of guys as well as girls. Our readers will want to see both. Got it! Hi, guys. Chloe! Guys, I've had an over-the-top emotional breakthrough. These past few days, I haven't been true to myself or to you. I am so sorry. I can totally understand if you never want to talk to me again. Girls, I think our resident drama mama is back. Wow. 
You guys look so pretty and punk. Thanks. This is what we're wearing to the opening of pins tonight. And Angel, so are you. I can't believe it! You got that for me? Yeah, just in case you could make it. You know, Yasmin, there really is only one pretty princess. And there's only one angel. Best friends. Forever. Oh, no. They're doing it again. So, do we have a clock to scoop or what? Yeah! yeah. Hi, Six with Bratz? I mean, your thing, magazine? I demand that you have these brats arrested for impersonation. And for pretending to be us. Yeah. yeah. Don't just stand there like a lump. Call the police. No! Chop, chop. <laughs> Major celebrity sighting. Everybody, just act cool. <gasps> Emergency huddle! Oh my gosh, no way. It's Byron Powell, the judge from America Rocks. My favorite show! Kill! He's coming this way. You found Ozzy. I've been worried sick about him. You're his owner? Mother of Pink. Arrest them! I want the whole lot of them handcuffed and... Yeah. Oh, no. It's that absolutely horrific woman from the plane. Quick, girls, follow me. I brought a few friends. You do realize, Edgar, that those dreadful ladies are in gross violation of the dress code? Punk doesn't mix with pink. Do you know who I am? You can't do this. I am Bernie Maxwell, the founder, president, editor, and chief. Strike one for the brats. <laughs> So how can I reward you for taking care of Ozzy? How about an interview for a new teen magazine? <laughs> you know, I just signed Crash. They're headlining the Save the Universe benefit concert tomorrow night. We've got tickets. Then how would you like backstage passes and an interview with me after the show? <laughs> yes! Yes! Shall we dance? That party last night at Pins was totally awesome. Yeah, I was so all over that dance floor. And I met a mysterious man just like my horoscope said. Can you believe it was Byron Powell, the mean judge from America Rocks? Your interview with him is gonna rock. Well, my horoscope said a handsome prince would sweep me away on a horse. More like I kissed a duke and he turned into a frog. <laughs> Cheer up, Chloe, because tonight, Bratz Magazine hits the Save the Universe concert. Front row seats to music making history. And thanks to Yasmin, we've also got backstage passes. Mother of Pink. Those rotten little brats scooped us on that stupid punk rock club last night, and now they're going to scoop us on the Save the Universe concert. If I don't get tickets ASAP for that sold-out concert, I'll hang both of you by your ears from the top of Big Ben. <laughs> Got it. Now, chop, chop! Oh. Uh, not my mother again. Mom, I told you not to call. Oh, <laughs> hi, Cameron. We were just leaving for Hyde Park. Um, okay. See you there. Hot date, Angel? No, it was just Cameron. Hey, pretty princess. The concert tickets are in a safe place, right? I don't want Berdine or those Tweedles to get their thieving hands on them. Trust me, Bunny Boo. I've got them stashed. Whoa, this suite is like amazing. Look at all this neat stuff. Yeah. <laughs> 
Nice. Give it to me. I saw it first. No, give me. A it's mine. Uh, it's alive. Casey, turn it off. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Your turn, Cameron. Got it. even love at first sight. After Nigel, I'm not so sure. <sighs> Come on, let's go hang with the others. Let's get to it, everybody do it, everybody have some fun. Let's get to it, everybody do it, everywhere and everyone. Let's start it up, get into something that we don't ever stop. Let's get a little crazy, that's what we need. Do it. find those tickets before old birdface kills us. Yeah, because it'll be really hard to find them if we're dead. <gasps> Ooh, this jacket is, like, so cute. Ew, put it down. It's got Bratz cooties. Bingo! Our lives are, like, so not over. We're, we're going, going to, to live! live. <laughs> They're back! Quick, hide! Mind if I hang out here while room service cleans my suite? If you promise to be quiet, I have to work on questions for my interview with Byron Powell. Hey, what time does the concert start? I want to make sure I have major mirror time to get ready. I'll check. Oh my gosh, the tickets are gone! This concert is my dream come true. Every jam and rock band in the world is gonna be there. And we're gonna meet them all backstage, thanks to Yasmin. This scoop is gonna put Bratz Magazine on the map. I know I hid them in my jacket. Think, think for me, Dylan. I got it. We'll wait for the others to get back and ask them what to do. Dylan, are you crazy? Wait, don't answer that. No way am I telling them I lost the tickets. They're counting on this. I can't believe this is happening. What am I going to do? <laughs> I know, I'll find Byron, he'll get us in. Stay here and cover for me, okay? And don't tell anyone I lost the tickets. They'll have to hang me by my thumbs and force me to use generic shampoo. Cool. I'll be back in a flash. It's an emergency. My life is so over. Stop 
Don't move. Here's some dirty laundry. Ew, it's the brass used underwear. Cootie alert! Ew! Ew! ew, ew. Let's get to the concert early so we can hang with the band before they go on. Hey, guys. Where's Yasmin? Oh, she had to, um, go out. Really? Where? Um, bowling. Bowling? Not! You're hiding something, aren't you? Me? No way. Nothing to hide. So, um, what's new? Read any good books lately? Tickle Fest! Tapas! Spill it! <laughs> okay! Okay, okay! I confess. Yasmin lost the concert tickets and is out trying to get new passes. No! Those tickets cannot be gone! We've got to find them. My article depends on it. The whole magazine depends on it. I told her to put those tickets in a safe place. She said she did. Well, not safe enough. Uh, chill, Bunny Boo. Yas is our friend. We got to hear her side of the story. You're right, Angel. So what if you don't stock them? This is the 16th time I have demanded pink linen sheets. When are you idiots going to get the message? Mission accomplished. Quick, quick, my nose is going to fall off. Ugh, you and your bad nose jobs. Perfection. Your thing magazine is going to leave Bratz magazine in the dust. Bratz, your careers are over. I bet everyone is going to be at that concert. And all eyes will be on me. Which is why you two are going to turn me into a hipster. The tickets have got to be around here somewhere. What? Dylan, how could you? Sorry, but they tickled it out of me. Pretty princess, why didn't you want to tell us? <sighs> oh, cool cat. I was afraid to let you guys and the magazine down. Yasmin, tickets or no tickets, we still love you. Really? Of course. Our friendship is way more important than some concert. You better believe it. How do I look? <laughs> Can you smell the surf and sand inside me? <laughs> For Dean Maxwell, it's Honolulu you. Mother of pink, it's Honolulu me. The bouncer said only vans were allowed in. Yo, yes. What's that on your shoe? Ew! Ew, it's even got blackheads. Why does that gross bandage look so familiar? Tweedles! Pretty princess, you didn't lose the tickets. Those seriously evil twins got in here and stole them. Oh, no. We'll never get the tickets back now. We might as well give up and go home and forget all our dreams and ambitions and get dead in jobs where they make you work under those awful fluorescent lights and no amount of makeup can make you look good in those and... Well, no way am I gonna let Verdine and the Tweevils destroy my dream again. You mean our dream, Cool Cat. Nothing's gonna stop us from launching Bratz Magazine. So what are we gonna do? Yasmin, did you say they only let rock bands into the concert? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Let's become a, a rock, rock band! band! Look, people, we got less than four hours to put together a slamming song and convince that bouncer that we're the real thing. Four hours? We'll never make it. Chill, Angel. My horoscope said music is my thing, and I know how to make it happen. Here's the plan. I'll work out the moves. Jade, you're in charge of wardrobe. On it. Chloe and Yasmin, you write the song. Awesome. Rockin'. I'll be your roadie. And I'll be your lead singer. Backup singer? Lip syncer? Actually, Dylan, you belong behind the camera. Paparazzi? Hot! So what are you gonna call yourselves? Hmm, what about Sasha's Angels? Hold on, Angels? Hmm, Rock? 
What about rock angels? What about rats rock angels? Love it! Feel it! Adore it! Yes! Brats rock angels! Come on, Brats rock angels! Let's move it and groove it! exclusive or interview with Byron Powell, our premiere issue of Bratz Magazine will tank, and I'll have to go camping with my parents and sing Elvis songs! Hey, guys, look what we scored at the flea market. Bratz Rock Angels, hit it! Wow! You guys rock! the hot new dance. Oh, yeah. Everyone at school is, like, so doing it. Right, Casey? Yeah. Now follow us. <laughs> Man, I didn't know you guys could play guitars like that. There's a lot of things you don't know about us. Yeah, Sasha here. See you in a few. Our limo is waiting. Limo! People, it's time for the Bratz Rock Angels to rock the world. Yo, Bratz Rock Angels, over here. This one's for the cover of the premiere issue of Bratz Magazine. Just thought I'd venture out to sneer at the exploits of the masses. <gasps> Arroyo. Oh, oh, my nose! <gasps> You're Nigel Forrester, the ninth Duke of Lessex. Uh, as I'm sure you know. I'm Berdine Maxwell, the founder, president, and editor-in-chief of Your Thing magazine and the reigning queen of fashion. Look, queen, whoever you are, get yourself a surfer, dude. One my father's age. <laughs> Your father's age? <laughs> Man, you don't recognize the Bratz Rock Angels? They're the most style and hip new rock band. Come on, one more. Keep Mr. Space Invader away from us, okay? Absolutely, positively, an unmitigated disaster! I feel terrible. This concert means so much to everyone. Oh my gosh! You're Roxy, lead singer of Crash! Actually, that's formerly of Crash. You were supposed to go on stage now! What are we gonna do? Can you girls sing? You bet we can sing. Are you ready? The Change 
the World Benefit Concert welcomes the Brats Rock Angels! The Brats, what are they doing up there? Get down, do you hear me? Get down! Okay, lady, let's go. I will have you arrested. Do you know who I am? Put me down! Not our problem. They're rockin' hot and rockin' your world! Give it up for the Brats Rock Angels! We know how to dare, we know how to dream. Tonight is the night, what do we wanna be, we'll be. We're gonna make it through. Let's conquer the fears, take every chance. So that is how the girls with a passion for fashion watched Bratz, their very own teen magazine, and became rock stars. The trip to London gave us so many awesome stories. Bratz celebrity exclusive, Byron Powell, the ultimate judge. You girls are absolutely positively the best band I've ever heard. Inspiration for my first Bratz quiz, is your boyfriend a royal jerk? Question one, does he diss your best friends? Those misfits? Oh, come now, pretty princess. They're so uncouth. <laughs> if your answer is yes, dump, dump him. him. A super style and fashion scoop. Pretty and punk. London's latest looks. As well as my very own do's and don'ts column. Do's, don'ts. But the scoop of the century was how to make your own. Rock band. Let's hear it for Girl Power! Our magazine was a home run! Like we said, flying objects are just drawn to it. Dean was so depressed, she ate a plateful of hamburgers with extra Must cheese destroy. and mayo. Must destroy brats. Of course she blamed our super style and success on the Tweevils. And the Tweevils had to pay the Must price. Must destroy brats. Must destroy brats! <laughs>
must destroy brats! Must destroy brats? Must destroy brats! As for our careers as rock stars, Byron gave us a groovalicious recording contract. Oh, you guys rock! Roxy became our new best friend forever. And we went on a worldwide tour. Brats Rock Angels zoomed to the top of the charts. Oh, I almost forgot. We added one last super style and touch to our pad. The cover of our premiere issue of Bratz Magazine. We're the girls with a passion for 